What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy Z Fold 4 unpacked event is right around the corner. We know literally everything there is to know about the handset. So let's take a look at the top eight new features we're gonna get with the new foldable. One of the big issues with Samsung's current foldables is that the cover display is a bit too narrow for tasks more complicated than texting or playing music. Thankfully, Samsung is addressing that issue with the Z Fold 4, where the display is a bit wider. Although it's not as wide as other foldables from Chinese OEMs, it's still better than the annoyingly small cover screen on the Z Fold 3. Samsung will introduce two new multitasking gestures with the Z Fold 4. The first one is swipe from the bottom with two gestures to get into a multitasking window and the second swipe from the top corner to get into the pop-up view. Right now it takes a few steps to get into the multitasking screen so these new gestures will surely make using these features much more convenient and thus encourage more people to actually use multitasking. Cameras have always been a weak point of the Z Fold lineup, but after three generations, Samsung is finally giving the Z Fold 4 a flagship camera treatment. It will get the same camera setup as the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus, which means a 50 megapixel main camera with ultra wide and 3x optical zoom camera, which is an improvement over a measly 2x zoom on the Z Fold 3. It's still not the best camera system Samsung has to offer, but it's surely a step in the right direction. The under display camera on the Z Fold 3 is kind of visible almost all the time. Sure, you can't notice it when it's not in a direct line of sight, but that doesn't mean there is no room for improvement. Thankfully, with the Z Fold 4, Samsung is increasing the pixels of the display above the camera so that it's less visible even if you directly stare at it. Now before moving further, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. You see, the market is full of VPNs, but NordVPN is by far the best one out there. I prefer it for its simplicity and that they have optimized servers, which means your internet speed barely gets affected. It will allow you to access blocked websites, unlock regional Netflix content and more, but most importantly, it keeps you safe from hackers and government agencies as it secures your internet traffic, encrypts it and routes it through a remote server. Specifically, it allows you to send your internet traffic through not just one, but two VPN servers. If you're someone that truly wants to surf anonymously and securely, this can be highly valuable. It's available on Android, iOS, macOS, Windows and Linux, and you can use up to 6 devices simultaneously within one subscription. They're also having a Nord Security Bundle deal with a standard plus and complete package for some exclusive period. So go to nordvpn.com slash tech talk to get a two year plan with a huge discount plus one additional month for free. The link is in the description. One of the big issues with foldable phones is their weight. Samsung is kinda addressing that issue with the Z Fold 4 where they're reducing the size of the hinge which will result in a tad lighter and thinner handset. Although just 8 grams wouldn't make a huge difference but it's still lighter than the Z Fold 3. Samsung's competitors have found a way to tackle the crease problems on their foldable phones but Samsung which was a couple of generations ahead in launching a foldable phone is still struggling with it. Chinese OEMs are using a different folding mechanism where the display folds in an oval shape, thus minimizing the crease. Samsung's display, however, folds just like a normal paper, thus the crease looks much more pronounced. The good news is, with the Z Fold 4, Samsung has managed to reduce the appearance of the crease. It's still visible, but a tad better than last year. Qualcomm has shifted to TSMC as their chipset manufacturer for the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, and that alone has resulted in a generational improvement over the 8 Gen 1 chipset used in the S22 Ultra. It's 30% more efficient and 10% faster than the 8 Gen 1, which means even though both the Z Fold 4 and S22 Ultra are 2022 handsets, the Z Fold 4 will have a massive advantage in both battery life and performance over the S22 Ultra. Other features including the S Pen compatibility, water resistance, DAX and more will all be there with the Z Fold 4. Samsung will launch the handset on the 10th of August. Of course, let me know your thoughts and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.